I did a, a, a video this morning on how the system is no longer fit for purpose. That would be the judicial system, the, part, the political system, the two-party system, the alleged democracy, um, the first past the post, the people are actually in government and all the rest of it. And I thought that's enough for today, so you can get on about your day. Then I went on Twitter. That was a bad idea. I saw the police boasting about how they'd caught uh, a guy who was evading the speeding camera van, you know, those useful camera vans that were set up to be put near, say, for instance, schools and other high-risk areas to reduce speeding, to which nowadays you find nowhere near schools. You actually find them on places that they can hide, they park illegally, uh, they're not actually got police officers in them, and they're a massive revenue earner for the coffers. They actually focus their budget on the estimated earnings from these camera vehicles. So I am always a little bit critical of them uh, because I just think they're a money earner. No, I don't think people should speed. I'm in a trade where I don't speed. If I did, I would get points on my license and rightly so, and I would be banned. And if I was banned, then I'd be a drain on the system because I couldn't earn any money. So I'm not saying what this guy's doing right, but because he's put a jammer and his middle finger up to this camera van, they've given him an eight month prison sentence. Now that is ridiculous. And the reason I say it's ridiculous is because of the double standards. Take for instance, and you'll see the clips coming up above me now, there's an 18 year old youth, apparently, who um, has come in from another country and basically he strangled and raped some girl. Uh, a very, very violent crime indeed, and he was spared prison because of his poor understanding of the English language. That is absolutely ridiculous. It makes a mockery of the rest of us. When you can give somebody a well, you wanted to give him a custodial sentence, but you couldn't because of the uproar. So you gave him an 800 pound fine for cracking a joke. Yet this bloke has blighted somebody's life, invaded their body against their will, and violently enacted a sex crime on them. When he knows, regardless of what language you speak, what God you pray to, what country you've come from, you know that raping somebody is morally and legally and every other way wrong. So what example does this judge set? He then goes and sets the example of giving the guy a suspended sentence and he puts him under a curfew. What does that say to anybody coming into this country? What it says is if you come into this country, you will be afforded basically carte blanche to go and do what you like. You're immortal, you're untouchable. You can do whatever you like, but don't worry. The people of that country will get nicked for tweets, get nicked for a couple of mile an hour over the speed limit, will get nicked for all sorts of things that you won't. If you can't see there's a double standard here, and if you can't see that this government is no longer, and the judicial system is no longer fit for purpose, you must be blind. Now, I would say that if any of you can tolerate just a little bit of swearing, it's not too bad, go over to the Reverend Simon Sideways channel and have a look on there at the latest video. And this goes more into depth into about the government and what I think. But at the moment, things are galloping ahead. When I say they're galloping ahead, and what I mean about this is people's attitude towards the system, towards politics, towards the media, towards everything that makes up our system at the moment. People have had enough. And what they're gonna do this system, because of their them and us and their, their identity politics and then pigeonholing people and saying, you're worth more and you're worth less and you don't have rights and you have more rights, they will divide us. But they'll divide us as in people will move who would I would suggest would be slightly on the left or centre politics. They'll push them to the far right. And a friend of mine came out with a great comment. He says, I'm not right wing. He said, I'm not far right. He says, I'm not alt right. He said, I'm being forced right. And that's a coin a term I think that we should use. Forced right. None of us are right wing, but we have been forced to the only side of politics that will look after us. And that, I think, is a shame. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe, and also look at the video on my other channel. Um, I think you'll like it. As I say, it's not too much swearing, but uh, yeah, if you're around other people, maybe don't put it on until later. Thanks a lot for watching, see you soon. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, press the bell button. As you can see in the picture, I have two YouTube channels and I'm on different platforms, so you can find me on many different spaces. If you want to support this channel, 
you can do so through Patreon or PayPal. All donations are much appreciated. Yet again, thanks ever so much. Without you, this is all pointless.